Hey guys and welcome back to another Roblox news video. Now we've got a couple of things to talk about in today's video. The main topic though is Roblox UGC for everyone. Now I did kind of cover this before and I think a few other YouTubers covered it but those videos didn't really get much attention. So maybe UGC for everyone is not so popular which I'm kind of surprised about. Anyway it seems Roblox has released more information about this. They haven't been very specific like they always do which is pretty annoying. But yeah we're going to cover it in today's video anyway. Shout out to Roblox RTC here. They cover this a little bit. They said, massive news announced by Roblox today. Soon all verified users who are in good standing will be able to create and publish items to the Roblox marketplace. So yeah, obviously this is UGC items. They also said subscriptions will be able to made in Roblox experiences soon. I'll cover that in a second. I think it's like an alternative to game passes basically. So yeah, UGC for everyone. This will be a complete disaster. I mean, UGC is a mess already. We've got copyrighted items, inappropriate items, low quality items, AI re-uploads yeah it's just a disaster already if it becomes available to everyone I think that's it it's gonna end up like the audio disaster where everything gets deleted but yeah RBX News was talking about this as well so they said soon all verified users who are in good standing will be able to create and publish items now I did go on the Roblox blog to find out a little bit more because I wanted to know like verified what like verified via age verified via email verified via the little like blue tick icons that you get on your profiles and honestly I couldn't find find it. Roblox is just so bad at wording stuff. I feel like every article they push out, people just get confused and they question it and they're like, why is this not complete? Why doesn't it make sense? They kind of say here that the only people that will be eligible to participate, they basically need no policy violations and they have to have a verified account. But the thing is, right, if you've got the little verified tick mark on your profile, there's a very high chance you have UGC already. This is what I mean, by the way. So you can see on my profile, I've got like the little verified badge icon. Basically, I got this because I'm in the start program. And the thing is, right, if you're a developer, if you're in the stars program, if you're a notable member, if you're a UGC creator, you're going to be able to make UGC items already. But I highly doubt they would let people create UGC, which on this hat, because yeah, you get this for verifying your email. That's just way too easy. And then what about verified birthday? Well, yeah, I did have to provide my ID. So this is possible. Roblox could let people have UGC access that verify their age via their own ID. So, you know, like their driving license or something like that. So yeah, what do you guys think about this UGC thing? Let me know down below in the comment section. Honestly, if it was my guess, I would say it may be verified via the icon. But like I was saying, why would the Roblox announce that? Because most of the people which have the verification icon, they already have UGC access. So I don't know, it's a little bit strange. I do believe UGC is going to go public fairly soon. So maybe now is a good time for you guys to learn Blender. Maybe you've got like a good few months. I actually have some very simple videos on my channel showing you guys how to make hats, you know, caps, top hats. DIY paper bag things, random stuff like that. So if you want to follow a guide and just learn like the basics of Blender just so you're ready before UGC goes public, then yeah, I'll link some of those videos down below. I'm sure they're going to help you. And yeah, honestly, I really don't know what's going to happen. We can only guess right now because Roblox is so bad at wording stuff. The Roblox UGC application thing is still open, by the way. So if you can't wait and you already know how to make hats and hairs and things like that, well, you can apply. You just want to enter your birthday. You want to get like a whole portfolio of all of the images of your meshes, your textures and things. And yeah, you can actually enter and be a part of UGC. I would definitely encourage you guys to learn something though in Blender. It will definitely save the Roblox marketplace from being filled up with cubes if everyone just knows a little bit. Anyway, let's talk about the second thing which Roblox posted on the blog, the subscriptions. So this is kind of like a game pass alternative. Now, a few people didn't like this already, like Kasodis. He was saying arguably one of the worst news to come out of Roblox. Nobody is going to opt for game passes anymore when you can just make your players pay a subscription. So I think how these subscriptions work is you know how you like subscribe to a channel on YouTube. So let's use my friend Vexo's channel as an example. As you can see I'm subscribed to him. But what you can also do on YouTube is join. Now obviously this costs money but you get like notified about videos like secret community posts. I don't actually have channel members set up for myself. I know a few people have asked me to do it. Honestly if I can think of something good to give back then I'll do it. I just feel bad when people give me money. I don't know why. If I'm selling something though like a little shark block plush or like a t-shirt or hoodie I'm fine with that because you know you get something for your money just subscribing just you know to randomly donate to a youtuber I don't know I've never really liked that idea so for an example creeper chaos I think these guys do have game passes over on the store but soon they're going to be able to add subscriptions so maybe these guys could add like a subscription to get like special abilities more like weapons or building materials yeah the subscriptions button is going to be interesting obviously it's going to cost robux and yeah I don't think this sounds too terrible honestly 
personally, I probably wouldn't use it though. I never really like paying monthly for things because I always worry that I might forget and then I'll get like charged for something. You know, things like Amazon Prime and Netflix, I'll never pay for those. So there we are guys. I think that's everything for this very quick news video. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.